Hi, I'm Lee from the Frugal Travellers and today I am flying from Porto to Birmingham with Ryanair. I love Ryanair, they're fantastic, dirt cheap airline, but you do get a lot of uh, extra charges with Ryanair, with, as with a lot of budget airlines. And what I want to do on this video is a quick one, whiz you around and explain to you all the extra charges that uh, you could fall foul of if you're not careful and the best tips in order to book the cheapest and best flights with Ryanair. Now let's talk about tickets. When I went to book this flight at first, it was 15 euros, Porto to Birmingham, brilliant. And I thought, oh, well, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet. I'll, I'll, I'll wait a while. And I went back and it was 30 euros. And then I went back again and it was 39 euros. And I thought I better book it. So I booked it there and then at 39 euros. If I'd have got it in first thing, I would have got it for 15. So I paid 39 euros for the ticket. And then I thought I might need uh, extra luggage because I, I've got a bit of stuff. So I thought to book with a 20 kilo check-in bag. And uh, I shouldn't have done that because I've realized now that I've got a lot less. This is my bag right here. And it is a 40 liter Osprey bag, which weighs 10 kilos. And I could have got a cheaper ticket to take that on board with me or paid a little bit more to check that in as a 10 kilo bag anyway. What I did was I bought a plus fare. Now this is a mistake I made. I bought, you go through, buy a value fare straight away if you want the cheapest ticket. I bought a plus fare which included a 10 kilo, no, 20 kilo checked in bag and a seat reservation as well, which I don't really need to be honest. I'm traveling on my own so I could sit anywhere. Uh, so I made that mistake. The best thing you can do is buy a value fare ticket uh, then you put your name in and then you go through and then you order a bag and you can get your you can pay a bit more for a 20 kilo uh, a bit less than that for a 10 kilo check-in or even less than that and it's only 15 euros uh, on this flight anyway it changes from flights to flights but on this on this flight it was 15 euros for a 10 kilo um, cabin bag which is what this size is so if I'd have done that that would have been 30 euros for this flight. Instead, I paid an extra 35 euros for the plus. So that took it to 74 euros in paying for this flight. Could have got it for 30. Oh well, you live and learn. I've lived and learned. Now I'm warning you the best way to do it. Included in my fare was a seat selection, but you don't need to get one. Just buy a value fare without one. If you go through, you buy a value fare, they're going to ask you if you want a seat selection and you can pay between four euros and about, I don't know, 12 euros or something like that for a seat in a better position further up the front of the plane or something like that. Um, it's up to you if you want to, you can pay a bit more for leg room if you want, but if you want to do it cheap, just take a lucky gamble. Now the next little sting you have to be a little bit aware of is the check-in fee one which is basically you get to check in free online now i bought a plus fare so i've got 60 days to check in in advance you just go online check in and uh, you can print up your boarding pass now you can either print up your boarding pass or you can save it on the ryanair app uh, i can't show you because it's on the phone that i'm videoing on but uh, you've got the digital one you don't have to buy print enough so that saves you some money but if you don't check in online and you come to the airport and you go to the check-in desk going to cost you 55 euros to check in 55 euros a bit of a sting so make sure you check in online before you go if you buy the cheap ticket uh, you have got 24 hours before the flight to check in so make sure you've printed your boarding pass off because if you don't then you have to pay 20 euros for them to print a boarding pass for you so either print one off or download the digital version these are the check-in areas at Porto for some reason the lines always the longest at the Ryanair ones now let's check the bag sizes. Um, you've basically got the small bag that you're allowed to check in for free, to take on for free. Everyone can take one of those. It's 40 by 20 by 25. And if it doesn't fit in there, you're gonna get charged for it. Here's my small bag. And that's this little backpack. Got my laptop in there, got a few bits and pieces. That fits in there nicely, that's okay. It's not gonna get charged for that. If that is oversized, and I try and get on uh, the plane with that, they're going to charge me. They'll charge me 70 euros for that. Now the cabin bag is 55 by 40 by 20. Here's the Osprey. Fits in there nicely, but it sticks out a little bit. So I don't know if they'll get me do me for that. 
I'll have to check. Actually, they won't do me for that because I've paid for a 20 kilo carry-on, so I've paid for a much bigger bag. But this is the size that you want. You want it to go on that um, cabin bag allowance. Now, a lot of people bring wheelie trolleys. Um, you know, you can know the dimensions of them, so they're quite good. I think with these soft backpacks, they're, they're pretty lenient with them, but as long as it's, you can squash it down and it can go in because it goes in the overhead compartment. But you want something like this, yeah. This is the Osprey 40, they're really good. I'll put a link in the description below for one of those bags. Uh, they're really good. And again, for your free bag, it's 40 by 30 by 20, and it has to go under the seat in front of you. You can't get, um, you can't put it in the, the, the locker above. So, you know, you don't want anything too big that's gonna get in your way during the flight. Some people fly just with those, you know, brilliant if you're on a weekend there and you don't need much. I live out of my backpack, so I have to take a little bit more, but this is your best way. Buy your 15 euro ticket, go through, and then just pay 15 euros for an extra one of these on you, and you've got a great flight for 30 euros. It was a very easy check-in process. I had my digital boarding pass already and they've took my bag from me. So now I can just go through security and it's the boarding gate. Easy peasy. Well, that was incredibly easy. You're just coming through security, straightforward. And now in the boarding gates and there wasn't any um, immigration at all whatsoever, which is strange because I'm leaving the EU, the Schengen zone. So oh, just got to re get ready to board my flight to Birmingham now. When you come through the security, there's a one euro per water dispensing machine there. Or if you're like me, you've bought an empty water bottle through and just filled it up in the toilets. Okay, so there is immigration because this is the bit where you leave the EU. So I've just got to go through there now to my gate. Just watching the boarding process carefully and seeing what bags go through. don't want to have too big a bag otherwise it will cost you 70 euros it's interesting all these people in the queue are just taking on the small bags and we can see that some of them are a lot bigger than i expected It'd be great if these sites can get on amazing you've got the ryanair flight just come in and the people getting off and leaving and we're all waiting to get on it so they've got a very quick turnaround that they'll ryanair save their money Walking across the tarmac and I'm on the back, where I belong. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, you are all... Well, that was my first ever Ryanair flight and I must admit, I'm quite impressed. It went really well. Uh, yeah, plenty of leg room, really comfortable. It was a baby crying in the next row, but these things happen, you know, budget flight, so you get what you pay for in flights. I didn't try the food. I must admit, I didn't taste their cuisine for some reason. <laughs> well, I actually bought my own, so what do you expect from me? And also, uh, I didn't try any of the drinks because let's be honest, it was six euros for a tiny little can of beer, so that was never gonna happen. Would I fly Ryanair again? Yes, I would, definitely, without a doubt. And actually, I would book again, but I would only book a value fare ticket and then I would add a 10 kilo cabin bag afterwards. That's the cheapest and best way to do it, as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, brilliant. Well, well worth it. I hope you got some value out of this video. And if you did, you might think about subscribing to the Frugal Travelers because we travel the world non-stop on $25 a day and do everything we can to save money. And we like to show you how it's done. Also, let us know if you've got any good frugal travel tips as far as cheap flights are concerned. We always like to hear those things, so share it with us in the comments below. So subscribe to us for more budget travel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.